Greetings and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. So, let's see if we can look at some of this stuff here. Good. Alright, so, in the last episode, we found the other two Brotherhood of Steels that seem to be on a mission. The other one was found much earlier ago. So, let's go ahead and see if we can find them. There's somewhere in a hidden valley. Let's head in. Hopefully this is the right one. The password is... Oh, we got a couple of passwords. Lives to fight another day. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. Okay. Hand over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down here. Let's see. What's going on here? Let's talk this over. There's nothing to talk over. You can strip down and hand over your equipment. Okay, I'll comply. Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Great. I'm naked. Where did you learn that password? And tell the truth, because I'll know if you're lying. I found some I found some of your people dead in the waste. They had it on them. An interesting story. It may even be true. Under normal circumstances, your story wouldn't make any difference. He'd be dead already. Lucky for you. Probably. Elder McNamara wants to meet you. So follow me, closely, or you'll be killed. Great. Alright. I've been informed that you bring us ill tidings, stranger. Care to elaborate? Actually, I'd rather, um... I found one of your patrols out in the waste. Your men are dead. That is sad news indeed, and I thank you for making your way here to convey it to us. But now the issue remains that an outsider knows our location. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks. Some basic, some a bit more involved. Okay. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. I can take care of the ranger. Very well. I'll be... Paladin Ramos will escort you back to... Alright. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. Very well. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive... Oh, bomb. great. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. Great. I have a bomb caller. You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. Very well. That must be the, uh chest whoa okay apparel and uh Go ahead and do that, and that. Let's go find this ranger. Uh, 
And he'll be somewhere over in this direction. Alright. Let me go ahead and remove that marker that I placed for myself. So I don't get confused. Alright. Let's come down here. Coming down. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Keep pointing that gun at me and I'll stick it up your ass. Huh. Got some stones on you, son. I like that. What can I do for you? Uh, who are you? Dobbs is my name. I'm an NCR ranger operating out of Camp McCarran North of here. Reading man by birth, though. Let's see. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, it seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. Hmm. So no one knows you're here. Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time, and that's how we like it. Usually we call in our positions to McCarran to be relayed to other rangers, but I can handle myself. I'm sure as hell not going to lose any sleep on account of a goddamn broken down radio. But it will shorten my stay if I can't fix it. Mm, let's see. This seems like a bad location for a safe house. Oh. And in your expert opinion, why would that be? Powder gangers use these bunkers as hideouts once or twice a month. You seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently. But I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. Let's see. Hey, what are you doing to my radio? Nothing, I swear. Okay. But if I find you How did you resolve the situation with the Ranger? The Ranger won't be a problem. He's gone. Gone. Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? I convinced him that staying here was more dangerous than moving on. Yes. You exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. It's part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. Thank you. Uh, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. All right. What I wish to discuss with you. Uh, I guess we got to go down to the command room. And I don't even remember which way it was. Cuz it's been so long since I've uh, come in here. I think this is the right direction. Ah, uh, this is the, uh, the firing range. Let's come over here. Is this it? Ugh. And it needs to be in this direction. There we go. Let's uh, go this way. Alright, he's already at his desk. Good. 
When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. Okay. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Of course, I will help. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down. Why? Allowing no entry or exit. With you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Uh -huh. Three such teams have gone missing recently. And the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to... I already found all three patrols. They were all dead. I suppose I am not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. All right. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. All right. So what I did in the past two episodes is that I went. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around. For yes. Me. Name's Harden. Uh huh. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. Uh huh. I don't know what the elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. Why? And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen? To sure. Go ahead. As you may have already heard. This entire base is under a state of lockdown. Yeah, he no told me that. Except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who were outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things... And how do you propose that? I don't care about this guy. I'll see what I can do. And if Mac report anything you Yeah, yeah. It's an optional thing. We're not going to do it. All right. Let's follow this. Let's see about making our way outside. God, I really hate having all these arrows. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, we saved ourselves a good, I want to say, 10-15 minutes by doing the uh, other stuff in the last episode. That way you don't have to leave the bunker, come back, leave the bunker again, come back, leave it again, and then come back. And, and you did do that like four times during this thing. Alright, so we got to come over here, over here, and another one right here. Let us go to the further one first. It would be about here. Looks like I got a little bit of traveling to do anyway to make my way over there. Uh. I put that marker there to help me uh, be able to find what uh, where exactly I'm going. And it looks like I'm already finding them. I see something on my uh, little radar there. Don't know how close it is. Let's see if we can make our way up there. No, I can't. Let's go around to the left. Uh, 
push it around and around we go get up there all right Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Elder McNara sent the, uh, me to ask a report. He asked if the bears are still hunting. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Siege's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides maintained a long stalemate. And only after an extended duration did the NCR finally destroy its opponent. When they did, it appeared they did so with the help of fresh reinforcements. I do not believe they could have managed the feat without them. That savages such as these could last so long against the NCR is troubling. Please, take my findings to the Elder. He'll know what to make of this. Very well. That's one down. We're not going to head back yet. We're going to come all the way down here. See about getting this other report. And where exactly would that one be? Right about there. So I want to go in this direction. Get my axe equipped so I can deal with these wildlife. And we need to come up into these mountainous region. And I see him. Don't take another step if you value your life. Elder McNair sent me to his, uh, rep as his representative. He asked if the bears are still hunting. It's strange that the elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders. Hmm. Which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. All right, let us come and get that one. I guess the one I'm looking for is right over here. That's just a coyote. All right, we're almost there to the uh, other one. Yep, close enough. What do you want? And do Let's see, are the bears still hunting? You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, mm -hmm. after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. Eventually, the NCR got around to putting the prisoners down, but not until they had wreaked havoc on nearby trade routes. Eventually, the NCR tried to put the prisoners down, but they were overwhelmed by them, and haven't sent troops to the area since. Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. Alright. Now we just go back to the Hidden Valley to give our reports.
And we need to come down and make our way to them. Uh, so illogical. Dun, 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 dun. Not that way. And there's a few things you can do in here. There's a store that you can buy material, but most of the good stuff you can't be able to access until much later. Dun, 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 dun. All right, McNara. Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Yes, I did. Here are their reports. Good. Let's take a look. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review these in detail, but these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, Outsider. You're welcome. You've become someone I can count on, so I believe I can share something rather confidential. Alright, just tell me what you need. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. Alright. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See senior knight Lorenzo. All right, I guess we gotta go talk with the uh, Lorenzo. Let's see, scribe. Who are you? That's Ibsen. We don't need him. Lorenzo! Oh, you must be the outsider everyone's buzzing about. The Elder wants me to retrieve components to help fix the air filtration. So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience too? Great. Uh, what? You think you're the first person the Elder's trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. Yes. The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, uh -huh. a reverse pulse cleaner, uh -huh. and several HEPA cartridge filters. Uh -huh. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vaults' locations on your map. Best of luck to you. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components? Not... It's a... Really? Good to see you. Alive, that is. Which one am I missing? Hey. Son of a bitch. I'm missing Vault 11. I knew there was a vault I was missing. <sighs> Alright, I'm here at Vault 11. Let's see if we can finish this quest. Oh, man. Darn things. Alright, nothing there. How big is this place exactly? Not that big, it looks like. So let's just have a look around. And this looks like a uh, small little school. You may remember such a thing from Fallout. Ooh, Patria's, uh, cookbook. Already got that. Um, why is this locker... That's weird. Alright. Public terminal. 
And that looks like an NCR trooper got killed on their way here. Alright. Carton of cigarettes. Open locker. All right, let's uh, come this way. That is the entrance, and let's head in here. Damn rats and mantises. Get rid of that rat. Let's come over here. Oh no. Having a look around. And this is probably the easiest vault. I'm surprised, like... I sometimes wonder why... I decided to do Old World Blues first. Hot plates. I sometimes wonder why, because if you go through that and fully complete it, you'll be like unbelievably powerful. And that's just the bathroom. Another bathroom. And I'm just going in circles now. Uh, let's go to the left. Because we haven't been there yet. Let's see. Public. God damn it. And we're getting close. I feel it. We're in the living quarters. Really? And... How close am I? It looks like I would have to go somewhere else. Let's go further down. Looks like there would be nothing there. And looks like I'm just making a full turnaround, getting lost in this place. All because there's no easy map. Ah, uh, do I want to go to the lower levels? If we can make it to the lower levels, yeah, I hear those mantises. trying to get through this area and I just keep going in circles Ugh. this is what happens when you give this stuff to the lowest bidder Oh, man. Guess I gotta come back up here. Um. Alright. Let's see. 
overseer's office, and that one is to security. Let's head this way. Ooh, hard lock. Damn it. Let's move that a little bit that way. A little bit that way. A little bit that way. There we go. Some ammo. Damn it. Nuke. Yeah, this looks like it's another thing that was meant for low-leveled uh, characters instead of, like, someone like me and this just lets me do the other option yeah it doesn't look like there's anything here Let's see, ammo. More ammo. Let's go ahead and get that. And let's see what's in this locker. Alright, let us go ahead and grab that. And let's head over to the overseer's office. What will I come across in this area? Last vault I was in had ghouls. Let us come down this way, have a look around. This place looks a lot different from the others. Oh, hey you. Really? Oh, I probably need my rebreather. Peril. Okay. Ammo can. Really, the rat is following me through the water. Nothing. I just heard an explosion. Let us head back in there. In this direction. So I think it would be... Yeah, somewhere back here. There. There we go. We got what we needed. Let's go check out that overseer's office. We can find it now. Uh, damn rat. There we go.
Hmm. Let's see. Coffee mug. Pre war money. Suitcase. Foot locker. Whiskey. Empty. Oh, hey, a shotgun. I. Wrench. Hmm. What the hell keeps blowing up? I guess they keep setting off the traps in this area that I somehow dodged. One moment, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's more of this place that we need to explore. Now, as soon as you enter the vault, you should uh, go to the computer and pick up the audio log that's on it and then the next audio log will be uh, on a locked easy locked computer in the male's dorm and let us go into the area we have not been to yet as you can see there's still a good chunk of this place unopened Ammo. Stuff I probably don't even need anymore. And that's a locked box. Let's see if we can get it. Missiles. All right. We've got two options. Let's check this one. And that goes further, but before we go down that way, let's check over here. Then we need to go a little bit that way. A little bit more that way. There we go. Is that a mine? Oh, that's an ashtray. God damn, there's so much area that is yet to be explored. That is to the atrium. And there's another audio log. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Now, how far are we? Looks like there's still a little bit of area that we haven't seen. Let's see, security and reactor. Let's go to the reactor. Oh, that's where we came from. Right, let's go this way.
Now, it will be helpful if you have the rebreather because there isn't really too many pockets of air in this particular area. So if you have like a low constitution and whatnot, I recommend trying to get this. Let's come over here. Med kit. Ammo. Empty, empty. Let's see what's in these metal boxes. Oops. Sensor module. All right. Let's come back over here and through here. And let's head up here. I want to try and clear up some of this area that I do not have cleared. Means coming back here, there's a refrigerator. some mantises. Ah! Son of a... Oh, man, that sucks. I'm injured. I hope I have some, uh... med kits left. All right, I'm out of doctor's bags. Damn mantises. All right. I think we've raided the kitchen. Let's come back here, and let's make our way back to the uh, overseer. Or the overseer's office, excuse me. Which would require us going through the water areas again. Maybe. Yeah. Let's see, box of detergent. Through here. Yeah, through there. And let's see if we have what we need to be able to get through the overseer's office. If I can just figure my way around here. Let's come up here. Through here. Overseer. Now do I have what I need? Yes! Open sacrificial chamber! Oh, yeah. Time to go sacrifice myself. Oh, wait, that's a bad thing. Congratulations, partner. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. 
I'm going into the light. I have a feeling it's a train. Why, thank you. Ah, oh, large whiskey. Uh, it's a empty. Happy trails. Oh yeah, race car in the vault. I'd like to see that one. I enjoy living. Deactivate. Let's go ahead and deactivate you. Now you can only do this if you have the stealth boy, the robotics perk. Yeah. That's the only way you can uh, be able to do that, is to have a stealth boy, at least a decent uh, stealth. Did I get you guys? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's what you need in order to be able to just turn these things off and just go toward this. Let's see. Override lockdown. Woo! Now, how do I get out of here? Because I got a previous mission. Whoa! Better get rid of these just in case they somehow come back online. Man, that was close. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll meet you guys outside. Alright, after uh, doing that small little unmarked quest, let's go and talk to Lorenzo now that we have everything. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you... They're all right here. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. Sure you I'll did. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. All right. Hmm. 
Let us go and finish this. Back again, I see. Have you found? I did. Lorenzo's on it. Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. Well, that's you good. I have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios. But I left that battle scarred by fear, and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. Uh-huh. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Yes. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you. But is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the Woo! I hope it will prove useful in your travels. All right, we're liked. Welcome, outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been a with the surface open to us once again. Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios, but I hope to this. Yeah. What can I do? Uh, I want to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right, but I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourselves, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service. Which we did. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such. What? However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Yes, what is the task? As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. Hmm. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. I want you to head up to the summit of Black... It will allow us... To yeah, okay. I'll go up to Black Mountain. I'll meet you guys up there. All right, so as you already know, I've already been up here and I've cleared everyone out, so let's just go ahead and try to finish this already. Which we need to plant there, which would be this little radio tower I went into and found that music sheet for. So let's go back. I'll meet you guys back in the bunker. All right, we made it back to the bunker. Greetings, my friend. I hope I, I installed the device up at Black M Mountain as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood Woo! for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. Very well. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Yes! Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Thank you! Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Yes! We are now a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. And now we can wear power armor and that uh, special Enclave armor we got a couple of episodes back when we dealt with all those damn... 
Death Claws is going to be very useful to us. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this episode to an end. If you guys liked, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.